So should that fight with Usyk and Fury not happen, could we potentially end up seeing, like, I don't really want to say this yet, a Fury versus Wilder 4 or like, a Chisora rev, <laughs> not a Chisora. Another thing, rev. I don't think lie. we'll see Chisora if Fury Usyk doesn't happen. Shout out to Chisora as well. I really like Chisora, and I like, I like the fact that he's relentless in his thing, bruv. You get me? Age shouldn't stop your thing, bruv. Look at Hopkins, bruv. He was boxing at seventy-five, bruv. You get me? Like he looked, <laughs> he was good, bruv. You get me? So shout out to Chisora, bruv. Just doing his thing. At the same time, don't want to see him hurt. But honest, I don't want to see a Wilder rematch again. And Wilder is my favorite he heavyweight currently. Yeah. But I don't want to see that again, bruv. There's it's, nothing we need to see. It's difficult. It's difficult to see what Fury does. I mean, he's Tyson Fury. So he's going to be the A-side. He's going to be able to command a fee. And people will watch him no matter who he And he earned that shit, so... Y yeah, fact. exactly. And, you know, he's the best heavyweight in the world. Um, we saw in the Chisora fight before Christmas, where it's, you know, a less than stellar opponent in a, in a fight where we've already seen twice. And Fury won the second fight even more convincingly than the first fight. And arguably, not even arguably... They would kind of got further apart for the third fight. You yeah. got Fury, who by that point and and by this current point is the best heavyweight in the world. He's punching harder than ever before. Yet I was there on the night and I had my doubts as to as to how packed it would be. There was sixty thousand in there. It was a great atmosphere. I don't know how the pay per views did, but I'd imagine they did okay. Um, so Fury can really, I don't want to say box whoever he wants, but. He's not going to be short of options, I wouldn't have thought. Mm -hmm. If it's an Andy Ruiz or somebody like that, it might work. Um, we could also see Wilder versus Ruiz, of course, which has been ordered. Here's a question. So, Deontay Wilder is your favourite heavyweight. Current. Not, not all time, bro. Your favourite yeah. current heavyweight. Current. So if if Tyson Fury boxed Deontay Wilder for a fourth time, would you watch it? No, bro. You wouldn't watch it? Nah, bro. Do, do you know what it is, yeah? I think like... How many times can you see man get mashed up, right? Look like at the, the last fight, though. The last fight was, what, what? How many knockdowns were in the last fight? Wilder went down three times. Fury was down twice. I don't know, that Hellenius twice fight. twice each. That Hellenius fight, yeah, where it looked a bit shaky, bruv. Like, I, obviously, all he had to do was touch him, innit? But then, I just feel like, do you know what it is? I just feel like he took a really bad... It was an amazing fight. It's one of the best trilogies ever, like, ever. Do you get me? Like, as a fan, like... I became a I became a Fury fan because of that because of that trilogy, and I just I think it highlighted how great Deontay Wilder was. However, at the same time, I feel like there's so much more other fights that could be made with Deontay Wilder. I just feel like staying on this one and there's maybe taking more damage when there's so much more that he could like. There's so much more that he could do. Like I feel like like a Joshua fight, uh, even fighting Ruiz, like certain things. Like I feel like we visited the Fury fight already. I don't feel like there's anything that differently though like obviously he's got the one bang but the difference is fury took that one bang like about four or five times i don't i don't and now it's almost like he knows he has him and i feel like it's now it's not even like a a what if in his mind like what if you hit me it's like you've hit me like i walked through him i got up and we did it again like do you know what i mean so i just feel like i would like before wilder retires because what is he like 36 he's getting on he's 37 37 something like that yeah, yeah i just feel like was late late 30s yeah and i just feel like with like with father time in boxing, somebody can just get old in a minute. And I'm not saying he will, but I just feel like I would hate for him to leave his career with Fury being like almost like his highlight where he could sort of get a couple more fights in maybe if this fight ever happens, which I don't think it will, but uh, AJ versus Wilder fight. I just feel like, honestly speaking, the problem with like the heavyweight division now, which is where Usyk, I think, is kind of like one up in everybody, even though he doesn't have the leverage, is the fact that he can leave his career saying that he he overachieved. Like, he was a cruiserweight. He went and won the heavyweight champ. He beat the man that was the man, which is AJ. Like, I feel like if he was to just leave, was to just leave and bow out, people would always give him his flowers because he's kind of established something at cruiserweight. But then I feel like in terms of greatness, it's hard for me to say, like, AJ was like... AJ's great, but it's hard for him to be the standout man in, like, this era when he didn't fight Wilder. He's Wilder, a signature win. Yeah, like Wilder, for example, like you can't leave your career with the highlight of your career being Fury, losing the Fury trilogy. It's a great fight, but it's almost like, I don't look at, I like, I don't look at certain fights, like for example, um, Holyfield. I don't look at Holyfield's highlight as the Bow trilogy. Mm. Like it was, it was a great trilogy, but at the same, I don't look at that to be the highlight but of his career. he had so many other great, He had so yeah, many, yeah. he had the Tyson fight, that was a great highlight. Like he had, uh, he had, he's had so many different moments in his career where you could be like, wow. But then I just feel like for Wilder to just go out like that, it's like, mm. for Fury, for example, to not, to retire, even if he beats Usyk, to leave, 
to retire than not fighting the actual biggest person in boxing for a time period, which is AJ, and not have it in your record. It just feels like, oh. Yeah, I feel like that fight will happen at some point. I feel like Joshua Fury, there's too much money, and I feel like Fury, as much as he, again, kind of, and I don't know Tyson Fury at all, but as much as he kind of crows about, oh, I don't need to do this, and he's just a weightlifter and blah, 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 yeah. he would love nothing more, I would imagine, than get paid a lot of money to prove that, not necessarily that he would need to prove it, but to show everybody that, you know, I'll fight Joshua, I'll beat him, I'm the man over here, blah, 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 you know, that's... That's it's difficult to say. It's just for bragging rights because obviously it isn't because they were getting paid a lot of money. Fair. But I feel like that fight will happen. Um, it's almost like it's almost like, for example, with a lot of these guys, it's like they're getting quite up there in the age as well. So it's almost like I would hate for it to be like a Lewis Tyson thing. Like back in the day, I thought that fight was amazing. Like because obviously at the time I was a bit younger. Looking back on it, I'm like, wow, man, Tyson kind of just looks a bit. He just didn't look. Like, that's not Mike Tyson, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He just looks done out here. And then he went on to, like, having the Danny Williams thing, bruv. I don't even remember that thing happened, bruv. I like to remove that from my mind because Danny Williams was wearing a mad, long NBA shorts, bruv. It looked crazy, <laughs> bruv. You get me? But, like, I just feel like for that fight to happen when they're kind of a bit old and, like, flabby and sick, it's just like, bruv, I don't want to see that. Do you know what I mean? So I would love for these things to happen now because then it sort of adds a nice bow for this era.